While its playoff hopes were officially dashed last week in Youngstown, South Dakota has every intention of playing winning football to close the season. The Coyotes will play two of their last three games at the Dakota Dome, all against teams that are currently still in the playoff picture. That string starts Saturday afternoon against Missouri State. And you can't talk Bears without mentioning reigning Valley Offensive Player of the Year, Jason Shelley. He's really quick um, and, uh, you know, as last year, he really hurt us with his feet in a couple of critical situations, you know, where he escaped and made long runs and he can he can do that. But he's but he's also a very talented passer. And so with the, the wide receiver crew that they have, you know, his ability to to create some extra time, um, you know, get it to those guys uh, makes him a very difficult quarterback to defend. While certainly a tough task, the Coyote defense is actually looking forward to the challenge of slowing down Shelley. Travis Johansson's group surrendered a season high 45 points in last week's loss at Youngstown State and is eager to make amends. Give up some big plays that were uncharacteristic of us. I'm, I'm confident that we'll get that corrected and that's going to be one of the big things this week is to make them work for, for all of their, their points and, and not give up those big chunks of yards. As for USD's quarterback situation, Aiden Bauman is focused on building off his first career start. The redshirt freshman has completed just under 60% of his passes for 374 yards and two touchdowns for the Coyotes over the last six plus quarters. But he's still trying to settle in to his new role. Continuing to get faster and faster at making decisions, um, you know, being more comfortable in the pocket in some of those passing situations. Uh, uh, and part of being comfortable in the pocket is is being able to make quick decisions and and get the football out uh, on time. Um, we're uh, asking our quarterback to do uh, a little bit more uh, checking of things uh, than we did early in the year. And I think the more comfort that he has in doing that, uh, the better that will help us overall offensively. South Dakota and Missouri State will square off Saturday afternoon in a game you can see live on Midco Sports and Midco Sports Plus. Our coverage starts at 1 p.m. Central.